Let's go to Essex, Connecticut, once home to American writer Mark Twain. There's a train there, of course, but there's more. Hey, what's this? Looks like a number of tourists getting off a steam locomotive train and boarding a Mississippi-style riverboat. You might think that we're at some Florida amusement park, but the truth is we're near Essex, Connecticut, witnessing the operation of an actual railway that's been running since 1871. The Essex Valley Railroad runs along the banks of the Connecticut River in one of the most pristine natural settings remaining in the Northeast. And the railroad-riverboat combination makes it one of the most unique tourist experiences in the country. Visitors that come along on our trip get a real treat coming through the lower Connecticut River Valley countryside. We take them across meadows, we take them past farms and old farmhouses, we take them through protected woodlands, and then across some of the tidal estuaries to the Connecticut River. We give them some of the most spectacular views of the Connecticut River. They can see Gillette Castle up on the hill. Uh, just a real uh, combination of uh, sights and sounds from the lower Connecticut uh, River Valley. What we uh, kind of specialize in is our, our natural setting here in the uh, Connecticut River Valley. Um, again, we've got uh, farmhouses that uh, we go past. Uh, beautiful views of, that, uh, of the marshlands, Pratt Cove which is uh, the largest tidal estuary on the lower Connecticut River. The views that we have of the river uh, as we proceed north are, are spectacular. We see the recreational and some of the commercial vessels out on the river. Uh, the Connecticut River is one of the uh, last great places and it's an American heritage river. So uh, you know, our ability to come up very close in many sections of the railroad uh, to the river and give folks a, uh, a close up view of that is, uh, is probably our greatest asset. We receive about 140 to 150,000 visitors uh, per year here at Essex Steam Train. Uh, they either ride the steam train in the riverboat or they come down to ride the Essex Clipper dinner train, uh, come down for special events such as uh, a day out with Thomas or the North Pole Express, or they may come here to uh, partake in our guest engineer program, Your Hand on the Throttle. The Essex Valley Railroad is a living restoration of a line from times long past. Valley Railroad was uh, started uh, in 1869, it was completed in uh, uh, 1871, and uh, it provided freight and passenger service between Hartford and uh, Saybrook. It also had an extension to Fenwick, uh, which was a resort town. Uh, that was abandoned uh, uh, early on. Passenger service on the railroad ended in the 1930s, and uh, freight service uh, continued on until 1966. One of the reasons that uh, the railroad never was really a, a big success was that there's no industry on the lower end of the Connecticut River. The present operation uh, started in uh, uh, 1971. Uh, the railroad had been abandoned in uh, the late 1960s. It was purchased by the state of Connecticut because so much of the railroad fronts up against the Connecticut River and other state properties that the state wanted to protect all of its frontages. So uh, the state purchased it and a group of local uh, railroad enthusiasts, historians, and uh, business people uh, created the Valley Railroad Company, obtained a lease from the state of Connecticut to operate on uh, the state's tracks, and started operating in 1971, and the operation continues to this day. Okay, but what's the deal with the riverboat? We acquired the riverboat uh, because uh, about 70% uh, of our riders in the summertime uh, preferred the train-boat combination. The train hauls people uh, to our dock in Deep River, and then you transfer on to the riverboat, Becky Thatcher. And the riverboat is really the best way to see the Connecticut River. I mean, you're right on it, and uh, spectacular views, and uh, it's definitely uh, one of the more popular portions of our attraction here. Becky Thatcher is a Mississippi-style uh, riverboat. It was built in uh, 1961, and it's uh, 79 feet long, uh, weighs about 45 tons. It has three decks, uh, and of course, um, uh, has to have a crew to operate it. It has a captain and three deckhands. Obviously, it takes a lot to refurbish and maintain all this. Just what is it that drives the people of the Essex Valley Railroad and Riverboat? many of whom are volunteers, to work this hard. We'd like people to have the experience of coming here and allowing us to shut off the, uh, the 21st century for a little while. Uh, we don't go over 20 miles an hour with the train, which is 
and not going over 20 miles is almost unheard of today. Uh, just kind of give people an experience of, of sitting back, relaxing, and uh, enjoying the quality of the time that they're spending instead of uh, trying to get through something very fast, which seems so commonplace today. So one thing we've learned here in Connecticut's Essex Valley is that while amusement parks are great fun, sometimes the most astonishing of fantasy lands has been constructed by none other than old Mother Nature herself.